Hello, welcome back. It's Carla's Calorie Crush week 50. I've had a really good week. I was determined to rebuild the wagon and climb back aboard after uh, after my birthday week got a little bit out of hand and I have done so. I'm really quite pleased with the way this week has gone. I'm not saying there haven't been a few moments when I've been kind of like blah. In fact, Wednesday was a shocker. I've been a bit down in the dumps this week. I think that was, as I've said on another video, I think that was the down from the up of, you know, gonna have a birthday, gonna have a party, gonna see my friends, and then afterwards you've got the, and there's nothing good left to look forward to, haven't you? So I've been a bit, I was a bit down this week, and Wednesday I just had one of those days. One of those days when everything you touch, you drop. Everywhere you go, you, you've gone to the wrong place at the wrong time, or, or you've missed your appointment, or you're running late, or I got absolutely drenched in the rain, Molly had to go to the vet again, um, and then when I got home and tried to get onto work, everything I touched, I just got wrong. I had one of those days. We all have them occasionally. I came on again Thursday, and that might explain why I'd had this bloody shocking day Wednesday, because I'm always clumsier in the in the run-up to my period. Always clumsier, always have been, and maybe that was it. But I wasn't expecting to come on again. That was a bit strange, because I'd only come off about 10 days ago. Again, sorry for the TMI. I know some of you don't like talking about this stuff. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so... It wasn't due to happen and it's something I need to talk about with the doctor. I've got an appointment in a couple of weeks time about my knees, about the edema, uh, about various other things and so I'll incorporate that while I'm there and say these have gone a bit erratic, is that okay? Should I do anything? Is there anything we can do about that? I don't really want to go on HRT if that's... And I don't think they're very keen on offering that anymore anyway. I digress. Wednesday. Terrible day. I called it quits at about quarter to six at night. I called it quits and went to bed. Quarter six. Uh, I mean, that's evening. That is not even nighttime. But I was like, I'm going to go into my bed where I can't possibly break anything, drop anything, do anything wrong. And Natalie came home from work at seven o'clock, and I was like, I want KFC. I was like, I was like the exorcist with my head spinning around KFC. And she was like, Okay, what do you want? Do you want um? Do you want a rice box with salad? Chicken. <laughs> okay. Um, two pieces. Six. <laughs> I have a six-piece bargain bucket. The old me never ordered a six-piece chicken meal. But, you know, the old me was always like, I have, I have, um, what have I, I can't remember, I think it's called a fully loaded meal, and you get one piece in a bun and then one additional piece and some fries. And that was always my meal. That was my go-to meal at KFC. Wednesday night, I was like, bring me a branch of KFC, and if the staff don't move in quick enough, I will eat them too. So I ate my bargain bucket. I ate the chips. I ate the gravy. I had a corn on the cob. I would have had ice cream, but they won't deliver ice cream presumably because they can't guarantee it will get to you before it's slush. So I had ice cream out of the freezer. I woke up Thursday morning a little bit cross with myself, but feeling much better. Again, like I said, um, massive fly, just leaving the room, I hope. There we go, he's gone. Um, woke up Thursday morning and, and my period had started, so I didn't feel better about that, but I did at least understand why I'd been quite so erratic the previous day. And since that big blowout Wednesday night, I've been angelic. So I think I almost scared myself with with my extreme it's the, i'm not i was i've never been a binge eater you see i remember going to a doctor a few years back about an unrelated issue and she was a locum doctor she didn't, hadn't met me before and she said to me have you considered weight loss surgery and i wasn't even there about my weight at the time and i was like well no i don't particularly want weight loss surgery i don't want i don't want to do anything that drastic and she said oh well i suppose it would at least stop you gorging and I was, I mean, it stayed with me. You can see how offended I was by the fact that I remembered her word for word what she said. I was like, I don't gorge. I'm not, I've never been a binge eater. So I know that some people have issues with food where they will surround themselves and they will eat their way through the lot. My issue, as I've said to you before, has always been grazing. I can eat the same amount of food as a binge eater would eat, but I eat it in a trickle effect throughout the day. So whereas your classic binge might be, I'm gonna eat a six pack of crisps and a five pack of chocolate bars and all of these cakes all at once. And perhaps my, my, my concept of classic binger is someone who will sit there and force that food in until they violently feel ill because they've done it in such a short space of time. No criticism, no judgment, I'm just saying that's, that's how I understand a binge to be. For me, I could easily eat the same quantity of food, but because I would trickle feed myself throughout the day, it, I never got to that point of satiety, satiation, feeling satiated, feeling satiated. I don't know what the past tense of that is. 
But I never got to that point of feeling, oh, I've overdone it. Oh, I feel ill. Oh my God, why have I had all this? Because I just gradually drip fed it in throughout the day. So for me to do this Wednesday night was really unusual. I didn't love myself for it the next day. I was a bit cross. I felt like I'd let myself down, but I did get back on the wagon and here we are. I've had a very good Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I've made, excuse my phone, I've made good choices. I've, I went out to eat with mum Thursday lunchtime and had a steak salad. That was a bit of a mistake. If you have a steak salad in Frankie and Benny's, make sure you read the menu properly. It's in a chilli sauce. <laughs> Thought I was going to keel over. I, was like, <sighs> I don't do spice, don't do anything hot. But yes, I made a good choice at lunchtime and, and, and kept that going right through the weekend. And I feel happy with that. I feel happy with the way I got myself back on track. I wasn't particularly happy with the way I went off track on Wednesday, but I do feel happy with the way I pulled it back and sorted my head out, gave my head a wobble, as I say. And here we are. Have a look through the food diary. Um, I've hopefully remembered to film most things this week. There is the occasion when I don't remember to film. It's not usually if I'm here, if I'm here alone eating, then I remember to pick up my camera and film. But if I'm out with friends eating, then I'm in the moment and then I forget to film and I'm like, oh shit, I bet that. And that's when you'll see a, you know, a screenshot and just me doing a voiceover because I forgot to film it. I'm never not filming because I don't want you to see what I'm having. If anybody wants to see the screenshots from my app, they've only got to ask. It's not that and I'm never not tracking. I'm always tracking, even the, even the Wednesday when I binged, still put it into the new check app, still tracked it, still know where it went, where I went wrong. But I do sometimes forget to film. Have a look at the food diary. You'll see where things were good, where things were bad. And um, at the end, I'll hop on the scales and we'll see where we are. Well, where I am. You know where you are. Breakfast on Monday. Two scrambled eggs, toast and butter. For Monday's lunch, I was still in birthday mood and I ate quite a lot of uh, <coughs> leftover birthday cake and some <coughs> leftover Pringles and some <coughs> leftover cheese and chive dip. 1,456 calories in total. For the evening meal, I went to Brewers Fair and I had the chicken and rib combo, which was another 1,016 calories. I was not back on plan Monday. On Tuesday morning, I missed breakfast as we went to the gym early and I had lunch out. Lunch was a jacket potato with prawns and salad, followed by a mini dessert. 653 calories in total. Evening meal on Tuesday is two of the Iceland peri peri chicken skewers with savoury rice, uh, iceberg lettuce and Iceland coleslaw. Sorry, Aldi coleslaw. Breakfast on Wednesday is strawberries, apple and grapes with yoghurt and choc choc. Wednesday's lunch was an Aldi Italian cuisine thin and crispy ham and pineapple pizza. The entire pizza is 592 calories. Wednesday, as you know, I binged on KFC. I did only eat five pieces out of the six-piece bucket and I only ate one portion of fries. I'm not even sure what happened to the other three portions, but I know I didn't eat them. I had a corn on the cob and I had the gravy. Breakfast on Thursday. I'm trying some of these Belvita breakfast biscuits. I have no idea whether I will like them or not. As well as my Belvita chocolate chip biscuits, which were just under 200 calories, I've had one chocolate rice cake and I'm having some strawberries for breakfast. Lunch on Thursday, I have got a seared steak salad. We're at Frankie and Benny's. Never had this before, but it looks lovely. Evening meal on Thursday, sorry if the light's a bit weird, I'm uh, in my bedroom with a lamp on, is a Mark Spencer prawn salad. Looks like just under 400 calories for the whole thing. It's quite big. Friday's breakfast was a cheese and beans Costa Toasty. Strawberries were cheap, so I've got a mountain of strawberries with some aerosol cream. I started eating without recording, so it doesn't look as pretty as it did when I sat down, but it's basically two chicken skewers with a pita bread and salad and then a mayonnaise and onion bits. My dessert is a four calorie jelly with a good ice cream and 125 grams of strawberries. Breakfast on Saturday, I have got waffles with lots of strawberries and chocolate. Lunch was an M&S cafe pizza. <laughs> Evening meal on Saturday, I've got an M&S prawn salad, but I've added extra salad to it and I've got onion bits and mayonnaise. So 
Sunday morning, Carberry breakfast. I've got bacon, one sausage, a tiny portion of beans, one egg, hash brown, some potato hash stuff, and some mushrooms. Sunday lunch, I've got beef, broccoli, peas, some kind of weird mashed stuff, I can't even remember what it is, and potatoes. Last week on the scales, I was £293. It is Monday, it is scales time. Ready, Mary? It's 288.2, which I round up to 288 and a half. That is a loss of four and a half pounds. I've lost four and a half pounds. I'm really pleased. I must admit, that 0 0.2 on the scales this morning annoyed me. I even went for another wee to see if I'd get rid of the 0 0.2 and make it a five pound loss. Couldn't do it, the little wee wasn't enough. <laughs> Anyone who's ever been to a slimming class will know that feeling of going for a wee beforehand and then taking all your jewellery off and making sure you're wearing light clothing and wondering if taking your false teeth out will help. Four and a half pounds. Four and a half pounds. I am chuffed to little tiny apples with that. Is that a saying? Really pleased. It means I can put four and a half little tokens back on my board. I think I told you last week that the very lovely lady who makes the board sent me an entire set of replacement tokens, so no matter how many I drop down the back of the desk now, we're okay. There they all are. Total weight loss now, six stone, seven and a half pounds. Pleased with that. I think at my best I may have got to eight, six stone, eight pounds maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe this is... Maybe this is my best, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and have a look. Either way, I'm either where I was or very close to where I was and I'm delighted with that. That'll do, Pig, that'll do. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. And as always, I want to thank you all for your support. You were very supportive over my uh, birthday shenanigans and how I got on there. And um, and I want to congratulate all of you who are still doing well on yours. Every, every week somebody updates in the comments section and says how well they're doing. So well done to all of you for staying strong. It's not easy. It's, it is a long term thing. That's another thing some, several people said in the comments is, you know, this is a long haul thing. And because it's a long haul, it looks long and boring. But it is necessary. I don't have really a choice about this if I want to live to any kind of decent old age you know I don't particularly want to keel over at 50 from a heart attack although I did feel like I might in the gym this morning thank you for watching thank you for your unending support I appreciate every single one of you and I'll be back next week with Carla's Calorie Crush week 51 I'll see you all then take care bye for now